Hey everybody, it's your boy Dino Dean and the First Lady of Food, Miss Coretta, and, and we're, we're the, the Black, Black Foodies. Foodies. Side of Chicago here in Gage Park and we received an email about a place doing huge wonderful Caribbean flavors for a taste of Belize we're gonna step inside of Garifuna flavor guys let's go check it out I can't wait hey everybody we're here at Garifuna flavor with Hussein one of the owners tell us what different cultures influence Belizean cuisine uh, so Belizean uh, cuisine is an interesting mix of uh, Latin Caribbean and African in the blend. Okay. So, uh, the different peoples, um, we have been in Belize uh, over 200 years now. Uh, we're originally from St. Vincent and migrated to Belize. Um, so, you know, that, that African influence is where that comes in. Um, being in Central America, you have uh, the Latin influence in the food as well, with the panadas, the plantains, we do things called garnachas, which are like tostada, like dishes, um, coconut milk, that sort of thing. And then uh, Belize being uh, bordering the Caribbean Sea, you get that Caribbean aspect of the cuisine as well. So with the stews, like the oxtails, the stewed chicken, the jerk chicken, the rice and beans, um, so you get that good blend of all the different cultures, kind of just part of the cuisine. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, what could one expect when, with the flavors here at Garifuna? Uh, so, uh, the food is real, real, real flavorful in terms of uh, being savory, um, not over the top spicy in that sort of a sense. A lot of people mistake thinking Caribbean food is automatically spicy. That's not, that's not the case here. Um, we have different sauces and spices you can add to your food. Um, the only thing that, that comes with some spice would be the, the jerk chicken options. But everything else is just full of flavor, um, home cooked, you know, literally moms in the kitchen cooking the food. So it's so the family recipes. Cooking. Yeah, family recipes that have been passed down. And, uh, and just, just full of life and full of flavor. Something we're proud of to be making here. Wonderful. And also, does seafood play a major role? Yes, yes. So literally, um, where I grew up, uh, my elementary school was literally steps away from the sea. So seafood is a big part of, of, uh, of you know, our diet and what, what we eat in general, and just our way of life. You know, um, you know back home, the men would go leave in the morning to go fishing or hunting or farming and bring that food back to be cooked. Um, so things here, we do a new kingfish, we do a red snapper, we do saute shrimp, we do a uh, conch, um, different way, the conch fritters or conch soup. Oh, conch fritters, we love them. And then, uh, we do uh, the beliefs and empanadas, which are seafood based as well. So seafood is a big part of, uh, kind of our diet and part of our food. Wonderful. Well, we're looking forward to it and thank you so much for having us. Uh, thank you guys for stopping in. Okay. So I appreciate it. Oh, of course. And guys, right now we're going to start with an appetizer. And the appetizer consists of these beautiful plantain chips along with this fresh guacamole. And we're also going to have these panadas which are filled with kingfish and the outside is a fried masa. And we're also going to have this wonderful habanero slaw. And guys, I have to confess to you, I'm an avid fan of plantain chips and guacamole. So let's see what it's all about. guac is extremely fresh and these plantain chips they should just be bagged and sold in the stores guys crispy mm. not sweet because with these plantain chips they're not ripe plantains these are the hard plantains before they get ripe they slice them and they fry them and you come out with these chips guys absolutely phenomenal mm. 
And guys, right now we're gonna sample these panadas. And let's open them up for you so you can see what's on the inside. And it's this kingfish that it comes with. And I'm gonna first sample it. I'm a spicy type of guy. So we're gonna sample it with this habanero coleslaw. And see what this is all about. This is very good. It's unique. You can taste the kingfish. The spice of the habanero is starting to kick in a little bit, but it's not overbearing. Guys, when you come to Garifuna Flavor, make sure you try the panadas. The kingfish in it is so fresh. It's a must sample. You gotta come check it out when you come here. All right, feeling like I'm in the Caribbean. I have some sauteed shrimp here with green peppers, onions, red peppers. Also have a side of rice and split pea soup. And also my favorite, plantains. Give this a go. There's a nice sweet taste to this. The onions, the green peppers, they're all so nice and fresh. But this sauce is simply delicious. I'm gonna dig into the rice. Add a little sauce to it. Delicious. Totally. Getting ready to dive into this split pea soup. Mm. Oh my gosh. This nice, this nice and peppery. Taste the split peas. I mean, this here it has some carrots in it. I mean, it is just. You can't find the words for it. Just gotta come on down and try it for yourself. Alright? And guys, right now, I'm about to try these jerk chicken tacos. And it also came with a couple of jerk wings. Now, as you guys know, I think I make some of the best jerk chicken ever. So, I'm highly critical of jerk dishes. So let's give this a go. First, without the jerk sauce. Mm. The chicken tastes smoked. Very tender. I want to try it with this jerk seasoning, this jerk sauce wrapper. <laughs> there we go. Just kicked it up a whole nother notch, guys. These are some excellent tacos. The cilantro, this extension waste is just perfect. Top flight guys, they're doing Jamaican jerk tacos here in Belize, baby. It's going down. And guys, now I'm gonna try these jerk wings. God, these are good. Sometimes you try to overcompensate the description. These are just good. And there's nothing like some good jerk wings, guys. The heat is starting to come through. I'm gonna try these also with this jerk seasoning that comes with it. Wow, I get a little sip of water. Packed with flavor. I can taste the all spice. Obviously the habanero due to the spice. Guys. Once again, Belize doing it, Jamaican jerk wings. Man, <laughs> did you shut it down? Now I have oxtails that I'm going to try. Also, their potato salad and macaroni and cheese. Let's give it a go, see how they do it at Garasuna Flavor. <laughs> Sauce here. I don't 
know what it is. I mean, the flavors are so different than what I've been having with other oxtail dishes. I mean, this here, I guess, Belizean style. So, but it's just so delicious, you all. Got a little carrot here. The oxtails are tender, flavorful. Let me go in on this potato salad. Looks like it has peas, carrots, so a little different than the way I do it or you know, usually what I have, but let's give it a go. I love some good potato salad. Oh, this is good. I can eat a whole bowl of this. Got a little spice a little bit. Excellent. All right, last thing. Let's try this macaroni and cheese. This is definitely some really good macaroni and cheese. It's cheesy. I mean, it tastes like it has more than the regular cheddar cheese, but really nice and just tasty, you all. Mm. Awesome. Right now I'm going to try these beans and rice along with this stewed chicken. And the stewed chicken is one of the staples in Belize, guys. Also with the sweet plantain as well. We'll start off with the plantain since I have it on the floor. Mm. Tastes like Miss Carrados. Tastes like Miss Carrados. And you know that's good. Mm. I'm just going to put the whole thing in my mouth. It's that good. Sauteed just perfectly. Sweet. Mm. Very good plantain, guys. Now I'm going to start on the beans and rice. Break this up a little bit. Give it a taste. Very good, guys. I, I didn't get a bean. I'll try the beans. Very good, guys. Traditional Caribbean beans and rice. Really no sauce with it, but it comes with a sauce on the side. I'm going to pour a little bit of that on it. Just to give a little bit more moisture. Oh, man. There it is. <laughs> there it is. When you come here, put some of this sauce. It's like a gravy. Take a peek at that. And make sure you put it over your beans and rice. Now I'm going to try the stewed chicken. One of the national choices of Belize. Oh man. This is like my mama. <laughs> just fall off the bone. Just look at this guy. It just falls off the bone. Very flavorful. Mm. I don't know how long they cooked it, but this is definitely low and slow. Man, guys, I've been thoroughly impressed with Garifuna flavor today. I can't wait to tell you guys how many kisses we're going to get. And guys, right now we're going to give you a recap on Garifuna flavor. And as you guys know, our ranking system goes off of kisses. One, two, three, four, five being the best. Ready, Miss Coretta? I'm ready. One kiss. Two kisses. Three kisses. Four kisses. A perfect five, guys. Garifuna flavor has comfort food nailed down perfectly. For a taste of Belize, guys, make sure you come over here on the southwest side here in Gage Park and give it a try. If you've never had it before, you won't want to have it anywhere else, guys. And if you have a restaurant you want us to review, email us at theblackfoodies at gmail.com. Theblackfoodies at gmail.com. We out of here, baby. One love. Beautiful day here in December in Chicago. We out of here. Bye.